most important thing in a bunker I'm going to show you is acceleration okay so now when I'm in this bunker I'm thinking acceleration watch this there see that accelerated no leaving it short no leaving it short watch long trap shot long trap shot there okay now we come that's the hardest shot in golf now we come to the easiest one the one that's short here but still accelerate did you see that shot there was like a little bit of a run-up shot you notice how the ball i assume it ran did it run a lot now what's the difference in this one different height Watch this one now, watch this ball, how much this one runs. Watch that run. Watch this one and tell me if there isn't a difference in the run. <clears throat> Was there a lot of difference? So, number one, acceleration. I put emphasis on acceleration because when you're in the sand, that sand is thick. And it's stopping your club from going through the sand. It's not like a chip where you chip and there's no resistance. This sand here has resistance in it. And the only way you're going to play it well <clears throat> if you counteract the resistance. And that is to feel acceler acceleration. Now, how do you get the acceleration? <clears throat> Watch my backswing. Most golfers take the club back weaker and golfers in the bunker, they take it back with their hands very stiff, like that. You've got to cock your wrist as quick as you can. You've got to have a quick wrist cock there. Now watch how the club accelerates because of the quick wrist cock. Watch there. And the other thing is, people get in a trap and you can see their legs moving all over the place like that. Now you can imagine if you're aiming one inch behind the ball, which you should do, and you're moving all over the place, you're going to hit two to three inches behind the ball. So you've got to keep your weight. You should stand as wide as you can. A nice wide stance. Get your feet in the sand and don't let your legs move all over the place. Watch my legs. My legs are going to stay absolutely still. There. You can see that club accelerating. <laughs> Now, if you get a buried lie, like that, a fried egg, whatever you call it, watch this ball now, how it runs. Now, here's a completely different shot. Now, I do not open the club face. I close it. I do not worry about following through. I chop it. So watch this. There we go. Watch how this ball runs. Close the face. No follow through. That's going to run like crazy. Buried lie again, close the face, close it, hit straight down into Australia, watch, virtually no follow through, watch how it runs. There's so much to a bunker shot, it's quite unbelievable, there's far more, to, there's far more reading in a bunker than there is on a putting green. You get this lie, watch this one here. Now here's, I always think this is hard for the weekend golfer. The ball up on the club face. Watch how quickly this one stops as compared to the others. Okay, now, how, what's the other way to get the acceleration of a club? And that is what I call light the match. Remember we had the old match boxes and if you lit the match, it would not light if you went, you had to go, to light the match, you added some, some friction. Now you've got to light the match. Watch my club. Watch how it's zipping, it's lighting the match. There, did you see that? That was as good as I could do. Did you see how that club just, <clears throat> you lit the match. Watch this club, light the match. There, you see that? Can you actually see that visibly? Now I'll show you a weekend golfer. Moves. There's that stiff wrist, and he goes. <laughs> so if you, it's amazing how your bunker play with wide stance, no swaying with wide stance, cock the wrist, 
light the match. This is the tough one. So what you got to do is if you try and hit up, because subconsciously you're standing here and you see this down slope, how am I going to get the ball up? But here's a big face. So the first thing you try is try and lift it. You've got to do the opposite. You've got to let the club go with the slope. There, go with the slope. And then you've got a chance of getting it out. So you play it off the middle, not off the, not off the front, because if you played it there, you would hit over here. So you've got to put the ball in the middle, and you've got to go with the slope. See how I went with the slope? Yeah. With the slope, not like that. This one here is also tough. Always remember the ball is going to do what the slope is. The slope is here right to left. Right to left. This way. So the ball is going to go that way. So if I'm playing, let's say I'm playing for that middle flag there. I'm going to now, just move back a little bit. Thanks. I appreciate your confidence. <laughs> I usually put my mother-in-law there. But <laughs> now I'm going to, if I was playing for that hole, I'd aim to the right. See? Now watch it come down. I'm not hitting another one, but that's, look at that. Of course, the green does slope right and left too. 